What's going on, Twitch and YouTube? Welcome to episode 13 of the USS Cerritos tutorial. I'm Zero Elite, and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's video. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And today we have about a 39-minute video. We're going to be working on the outline of our deflector dish. We're going to add in some additional layering to our lower hull, and then we're going to build out the deflector dish. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start it off by adding one more row up top, and then we're going to come back around and uh, cut out the very center of it. And I'm just going to do this uh, gradually, bit by bit, uh, like I was talking about in last night's episode. Uh, we're going to be doing this gradually because I want to make sure that I get this shape right. And uh, it's best just to take it slow and steady at this point. So I'm not going to be doing too much layering I'm Just gonna, uh, at one time. I'm just going to be doing it row by row and seeing how it looks because the Cerritos lower hull has a specific look to it. So I don't want to make it too big. I'm not even going to build out the whole back of it at this point. I just wanted to add in one more thickness in the front. So this way, when I start taking out the middle parts here, um, shouldn't have too many issues there. So I'm starting at the second cut right there. We're going to do the same thing on the uh, right side. Going right off the second cut right here. And then everything else in between those two cuts that we just made, or uh, blocks that we deleted, we're going to get rid of everything in the center. And then I'm going to gradually remove two rows from the top and then two rows from the bottom. We're not going any further back on the sides than we currently are. If you really think about it, um, a lot of this work we've already done in last night's uh, video. So at this point, we're really just shaving away some of the deflect or some of the front part of the deflector dish so that we can get the desired shape that we want. So after we delete these top two rows, we're going to do the same thing for the bottom two rows. And I'm um, sorry I'm streaming a little bit later tonight. I'm getting starting around 10.30, uh, but typically my stream time is between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern, Sunday through Thursday. If you're following me on youtube.tv forward slash zero elite, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to follow me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash zero elite, where you can always get all of my recorded videos regarding mine, both Minecraft and Starship Evo. Now on uh, Twitch, I do stream other games besides uh, Minecraft and Starship Evo. I do uh, GTA, Cyberpunk, and uh, the Falconeer right now. If there are any other games you want to see me stream, drop a comment below. I definitely would love to hear from you. But uh, right now we are working on Minecraft and we're trying to build out this deflector dish to get it where it needs to be. I think the shape of it right now, um, that's pretty good. Sometimes uh, when you're building stuff, you get lucky. And that just happened to be the case here that um, the first time around the shape that I wanted was exactly the shape that I got. Um, now I'm going to add another row in the front. Now I'm only doing this in the front because, um, again, you know, I'm kind of experimenting, adding in these rows gradually. So I want to make sure that um, this additional row that I'm adding is not too much. And I think I'm definitely going to have to add in another row below now uh, based on where the deflector dish is currently sitting that lower lip is just too um it's too thin right now so we need to add in one more row underneath at least maybe two um i don't know we'll have to we'll do this front row and then we'll see how it looks if we need to add another row we will but uh definitely needs at least one and you can see again i'm just mining the cuts Going with my pattern and that's something that you'll see me do nine times out of ten where i'm working on a build um, especially the outside that will more often than not go with a cut line unless i'm trying to build something specific that's usually the only time i'll deviate away from that and uh, 
I do that to try to keep with a more mathematical pattern, something that looks um, a little bit prettier. I think that this definitely um, transitions a little bit better. All right, and just that little change that I cut that we made in the front, she's really starting to look like the Cerritos now. A lot of the iconic parts of the ship have been built. So we can honestly say that we've, if you've stayed with me through this tutorial up until episode 13, we've uh, pretty much built the entire wireframe of the ship. And at this point, we're just filling stuff in and adding in detail. And zooming out, taking a look at her, she's definitely where she needs to be. Now I'm going into, we're transitioning into the next part of our build. Now I've uh, got a screenshot or my 3D model up to the right so I can see a little bit more at different angles, the shapes of the lower hull. And right now I'm looking at the top here, how like the top kind of protrudes up a little bit as it transitions towards uh, the middle of it. So I want to try to build that out if I can. But there's something that it's also telling me that the lip, it comes a lot further up in the front than it does in the back. In the back, there's actually a lot of room back here. So I want to make sure that I try to convey that in the build. So um may not be able to go all the way around with this row. We'll see what it looks like, but definitely going to have to try to account for that a little bit. But if it doesn't look good, um, again, you know, I can always go back and delete it. But we're moving along here. We've got one more side to do, and then we're going to move on to the next part. We're going to add in a couple more rows as we go in during this build. But by the end of today, uh, tonight's video, <clears throat> should be at a point where we have the majority of the lower hull done. I think. Uh, there's going to be some detailing left to do on the deflector dish and to completely close in the very top and bottom of it. But the outline for everything uh, should be done by tonight's, uh, by the end of this video. So we're really rocking on this tutorial. I mean, we're so far ahead from where I was on the Disco Error Enterprise. Um, we definitely weren't up to this point. So... I'm getting pretty confident that this isn't going to be a super long tutorial series, which is good because we'll be able to move on to doing some other things. I would like to be able to build the Enterprise D in the same fashion. What I mean by that is just building it a little bit smarter and not wasting so much time during the build process to try to eliminate how many videos we're doing. But at the same time, you know, showing you guys uh, and ladies everything that I do during this build. So... I think I've been getting a little bit better at it, but, you know, as I go through and do these tutorials, you know, I'll, I'll get better at them. This is only my second one, and, you know, we're, we're making some pretty good progress considering we're on episode 13. There might be one or two spots that hold us up a little bit, but um, at this point, we're not going to have too much more problems upper than the, other than the upper side of uh, the saucer section. I had a couple of problems with that, but we'll get into that. I'm not sure how many videos that's going to go out to. It may not really stretch out the tutorial series much. Um, I haven't really started working on the full detailing of the interior yet. Um, I've done the research for it, and I've got some screenshots, but I want to do some more research and see if I can find some more screenshots uh, so that when I start that, um, that I can do everything that I want to do. And I think the most important thing for the interior is that... Um, you feel like that you're on the Cerritos. Because I think that's one of the cool things about the Disco uh, Enterprise, um, even more so than uh, my Enterprise A that I did. I think that when you go through the interior, there's no doubt in your mind that you're on the Enterprise. And I've had quite a few people comment in the comment section for that build saying that they were shocked how well and how much it actually looked like the Enterprise on the inside. And uh, that made me feel really good. So I want to, you know, try to apply that same quality to the Cerritos if I can. Um, obviously not going to hit everything, but if I did, that would be pretty awesome.
So, I mean, that's obviously the plan to make the most complete USS Cerritos that we possibly can. But at the end of the day, nobody is going to have a complete one because um, there's only a fraction of these ships on the interior that they show. But we're going to make do what we can. And where we have to fill in stuff, we'll borrow from other ships of similar class if we have to. Um, there's a couple of ways around that, but we'll cross that bridge once we get there. Right now, um, I know that one issue is that I'm definitely going to have to add a couple more layers up top and maybe on below because we're not going to have a ton of real estate here to work with as far as the interior goes for the lower uh, for the lower hall. Um, and it's still uh, debatable where the actual uh, warp core is. Based on what I've seen on the blueprints of this thing, it looks like the warp core is directly underneath the bridge in the saucer section. But I could be wrong. It could be in the lower hull. If it is, and uh, you know where it's actually located, let me know in the comments section. I definitely would like to know. Um, I'm actually going to make a point uh, because there's uh, one YouTube channel that I watch. Uh, I highly recommend checking them out if you're into doing shipbuilding, uh, whether it's on Minecraft or just in general, and you're looking to get some detailed information on these ships. Trek Yards. They're fantastic. And uh, they gave me some pretty good uh, bits of information regarding this build. Uh, just by watching their videos, but maybe they might know where the warp core is. Uh, but that's something that I want to make sure that I get it right. Because um, I know that they took a couple of liberties as far as the construction of the ship. I know that most people would probably just say, well, you know, the warp core is in the lower hull. That, that's got to be where it's at. But I'm telling you, if you go on Google right now and you search USS Cerritos Blueprints, you're only going to find one screenshot, and it's of the side view of the ship. Um, I think when they showed it from the animated series on the bridge. Um, and when you look at that blueprint, it really does look like engineering is directly underneath the bridge. And then when you look at the, you actually see uh, engineering, like it's a huge, huge area. And like it just looks more and more like that spot in the blueprint. So I'm kind of got getting the feeling that that's what it's for. Um, so if that's the case, I'll have to figure out some other stuff for this area but if that is the case and engineering is directly underneath the bridge i think what i would probably do is dedicate this area to the deflector dish more than likely but again you know i don't want to do that if it's uh not what it's supposed to be so that's why i'm kind of hanging back a little bit on doing the interior but it's not going to hinder this tutorial in any way i've got a little bit of time before we're going to catch up to where i'm at um currently on uh the tutorial series. I still have uh, quite a few screen captures to go through, but I want to make sure that um, this build just stays consistent all the way through and we don't have to skip um, days or a week or whatever to get more episodes out. So I'm going to be getting on fairly soon to start uh, building the interior. When I do, that's actually going to be really cool because that'll be the first time that I'll be doing stuff in a live format on Minecraft, on Twitch. Um, once I have more information on when I'm going to do that, I'll definitely let you all know for both Twitch and YouTube. So this way, if you want to tune in, ask questions while I'm building or whatever, you can feel free to do so. But even while I'm doing um, the regular series, um, to put those uh, videos out, uh, still free. Uh, feel free to tune into my Twitch uh, channel at twitch.com, or excuse me, twitch.tv forward slash zero elite. And uh, I've always got new streams coming out Sundays through Thursday nights between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But right now, I'm trying to gauge what I want to do because this piece right here is really what I'm focusing on right now. And how to, how best, what's the best way basically that what I need to do to pull this off? I'm kind of thinking that. Maybe I transition now from using a half slab to a full slab because I'm trying to build out this piece right here. I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Or I can get away with just adding one row and that's this piece right here. Now, I'm going to bring this all the way around the back end of the ship 
But we might have to adjust the back end of this. I don't know. It may not look good, but then again, it might actually look really good. If it doesn't 100% match the picture, it's okay. Because you have to remember at the end of the day, you have to take into consideration um, how a, an image is going to translate over into Minecraft. Because we're not working with solid shapes. We're working with uh, square blocks. Pixelated, when you think about it, like it's pixel art, more or less. So we have to transition that over the best that we can. And that's really the challenge of this, trying to come up with a pattern that um, that looks enough like uh, the picture that you're looking at. I'm not 100% sold on that block, that row of blocks I just added on the top row. Now, I think it would be fine. Now looking at the back end, I think that there's enough room back there where I could get away with this, but I don't know if... If that's going to work, that might. I'm going to go off of each corner here. I'm going to do another one right here. And I'm going to bring this line all the way back. Because I'm pretty much building this piece right here on the top. And that's the first cut in. So that's what line I'm building on. Now I'm going three blocks forward, and now I'm putting another line. Well, I'm building three, or excuse me, going three blocks forward, and then on the fourth block I was building that row. You have to envision it, because obviously the top of this isn't closed in, but once you get uh, a couple of ship builds under your belt, and you've done a few of these, you can start picturing your head how a build's going to start to turn out. So, I mean, at this point, I can sit here and I can see what I have right here with these uh, rows that I've added in. I can see how that, you know, looks like that. Because, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just that this piece right here, this piece, and the sides are not filled in. But essentially, it's the same shape. Now I'm going to work on some pinstriping. If you didn't see where I started that point at, don't worry. I'm going to hop over to the other side and show you. I'm going to stop two blocks out. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go two blocks out, and on the third one, we're going to start our line. We actually do the same thing on the front side. I'm going to stop at the last two, leave those the white concrete. I actually went all the way back on this side, but now I'm going to correct that. So I think I want to bring that back a little bit more, so I'm going to subtract another two from this side. So far, so good. And this part was a pain in the butt. It really was, trying to build up this line. The problem that I'm having with it is that because of the way that I built the hull, using a combination of half slabs and full blocks, I'm not going to be able to build a solid strip of yellow. Or at least I haven't figured out a workaround for it at this point. But basically what I end up with is that that line going up towards the center, it's going to be cut every time there's a half slab crossing it, which kind of sucks. But until Mojang or Microsoft Studios or whoever is making this game now, it's pretty much the same thing though. But until they decide to add in colored, actual different colored concrete half slabs, there's literally nothing I can do about it until um, they fix it, unless I come up with a completely different design as far as building the ship out. And see, I, I hate how that looks, but there's just, um, there's not that much that I can do about it. You see, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to play with it for a few moments, but 
um, or like I have, and now we're going to hop over the other side now, and I'm basically going to build the same thing out. But if you have a suggestion on what I could do, let me know in the comments section. You can see even here, I'm thinking that maybe if I do that and have a transition going forward, you know, that might not look so bad, but it sucks because in the picture, it's a solid piece. But then if I change it and I have it, or these half slabs are, if I added the yellow, then that block's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So I don't know if um, that's what I want to do, but that pinstripe right there, at least going up, I've got to work on that a little bit more. So I'm not happy with how it came out. When you zoom out, you can't honestly really tell that they're separated by that much. But it bothers me because <laughs> I know that it's there, I guess. That's pretty much how it is, like, all my builds. Like, any mistake, no matter how big or small, like, it stands out to me and it bugs me until I fix it. Yeah, you know, if you come up, if you can think of uh, something that I can do to get around that, I definitely would welcome uh, the suggestions. Because I'll be the first one to admit that I don't know all the solutions to a problem. I'm not the best builder on Minecraft, but I think I've built enough ships on Minecraft at this point that I've just I've developed a set of skills that I can do some pretty decent builds. But at the same time, there's a million and one ways to do this. This is just my way. And I think she's coming out pretty good. All things considered, I've never built this class ship before, and it's uh, it's not coming out bad. Now, one problem that I have had from time, well, with my older builds, and I shouldn't even say all of my builds because uh, the only builds that I, I really had a problem with this, but uh, long story short, when I've made a completely new ship class, sometimes I had problems with the proportions, um, and I'd have to finagle it a little bit to get it where I needed to be. The Vengeance was a great example. Like if you go on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash zero elite and check out my old videos on let's build the USS Vengeance. There's parts of that ship. The lower hull changes a couple of times because I just I had a problem getting the size where it needed to be. And um, even with uh, the Discovery, I had a couple of problems with the lower hull on that ship also. But with that being said, the Enterprise A, the Discovery. Disco Enterprise, the Kelvin, and the Cerritos. Oddly enough, I haven't had any problems with them. So, fingers crossed that going forward, I won't have any issues. Um, but I think that the main reason I've had less problems now is because I take my time more, and I try to plan it out a little bit better. Um, when I built the Vengeance, that was pretty much my second ship build that I had ever done. So, I'm giving myself a little bit too much crap about it. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you live and you learn. So. I definitely don't regret any of the ship builds I've done on here because I love, uh, I actually really enjoy building on here. If you're looking to get your mind off of stuff, build a ship on Minecraft. It'll definitely take your attention. It'll take your uh, take up a lot of time to do. And this is actually like a nice compromise because one thing that I do actually really enjoy doing, but I'm not in the position to do it, right now is actual model building um i really love model model building you know the building part painting all i i used to do all that stuff and uh when i was young my dad got me into it and my brother and i you know just kind of stuck with it well at least for a while he kept it going but i stopped doing it for a while but then like in my adult life in the last couple of years i started doing a couple of models here and there um when i was living in a house with my girlfriend and you know eventually we moved because we didn't want to pay the huge amount of money to stay where we were staying, but we were in a really nice place now and a lot nicer than we were before. The only thing that sucks about living in an apartment complex is that it's kind of hard to um, paint your, uh, your model. So I haven't been able to do that and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it anytime soon. So that's one of the reasons too, why I've been doing so many builds on Minecraft because I can't um, feed that passion, but Minecraft is a close second and it may even become a, a, a first, uh, may even become a first love of that because there's some things that I can do on Minecraft that it's a lot more convenient than building an actual model. I have a lot more freedom here to build my own stuff as opposed to, you know, putting something together. And right now I'm trying to build out this piece underneath here. 
and I'm not doing anything too fancy. I'm literally just building out a square. So it's, it deviates ever so slightly from this shape underneath. And I'm probably going to come back at some point and make it a little bit more oval on the front and back just so they match better. But um, for the actual uh, construction of the ship, I'm not too worried about it at this point because it's not going to hinder us or stop us from doing anything in any way. I'm literally just putting it here to figure out where the bottom of my, the belly of my ship is and what's what. So I'm probably going to fill this middle part in with yellow concrete, which by the way, uh, I've talked about this in my previous episodes and uh, all through episode one, but uh, for this whole build, we're using uh, concrete blocks and uh, I think they just come out way better. But we're going to fill in this whole thing here while this is going. Uh, I need to watch it, but I need to catch up on uh, Discovery. I haven't seen the last episode yet. I'm dying to see, um, I think it's Terra Firma Part 2. I, I, I was uh, watching um, a theory video on YouTube about what people thought about that guy that showed up in the hat that uh, sent Giorgio to the Terran universe. And a lot of people are thinking that guy might be a Q or that he might be Q from next gen because the way that he was talking, you know, it, he sounded a lot like Q. Um, I mean, obviously they didn't have the same voice, but as far as like his speech pattern, you know, it was very similar. I mean, that could definitely fit the bill because I mean, there's not that many people that have that kind of power, but I think there's a couple other uh, theories too, of other, uh, races that it could be i think the q would be the coolest though that was the one thing that i thought they dropped the ball on with the next generation movies and also picard right now where's q he was honestly one of my like next to the borg q was my favorite villain in the uh, next generation i think the romulans were like a close third you know um and of course i loved all the episodes of the klingons and stuff and um I just, I love Next Gen. It was one of my favorite shows. I grew up with it. But uh, I do. I think there's a good chance that it could very well be Q. And if they did that, that would be that would be so awesome. I mean, why not? I mean, they would have to de-age him with CGI, but they did it for Brent Spiner. They they could do it for John DeLance. I think that's his name. But he's a great actor. He deserves to come back in Star Trek. Um, I know that he's not on good terms with them anymore, but uh, another actor that it's killing me that they're not working with him anymore is William Shatner. I don't know what happened between William Shatner and Paramount, but it just seems like they want nothing to do with him. And it doesn't help the cause that somebody over at Star Trek Online pissed him off. Um, I've read different things online, but basically the gust of what I've got from it is that somebody from Star Trek Online was really rude to him um, and the way that they asked him to be part of the game and he pretty much swore them off at that point, which really sucks because uh, Star Trek Online is a really fun game. If you have not played it and you're looking to get more of like uh, the more classic storytelling of Star Trek, I, I would check out Star Trek Online because the advertisement that it, you feel like you're playing an episode of uh, Next Generation, they're not lying. It really does feel like it. I mean, yeah, you, you get in your ships and you blow stuff up more and you fight people more, but the story and the heart, it's there. Um, my one and only gripe with Star Trek Online is that their ships are outrageously well way overpriced. Uh, I wish they would have kept the subscription service as an option because I was actually a subscriber for years, and it even sucks because I got locked out of my subscriber account. I lost the email, and there was nothing that – it was cryptic at the time. There was nothing that they could do. So I had to start all over again on a free account. And uh, since then, you know, I've kind of sworn off putting any money into it on top of the fact that some of their ships cost like 40 bucks. I was trying to get my hands on the Discovery Enterprise and it was in a pack, I think at the end of last year. And like, it was in a pack with like four other ships or something. It was like, it was over 200 bucks and I couldn't believe it. It was, but I guess that they got people spending money on that stuff because there's people riding around with the ships in the game. Um, I know that other people, you know, they grind out the dilithium, but I don't know how they do it where they can get so much because I know that they put a cap on you. And uh, when I was playing STO, I'm taking a break from it now, but, you know, I hit the, the fleet dilithium vein. I hit uh, the public uh, vein. And I do uh, task force missions and whatnot, but it just feels like it takes absolutely forever. I've got enough dilithium that equals out to about 
700 zen right now and it's like i need over 3000 to buy a ship and that's like honestly why i took my last break i was like i'm never buying another ship out here <laughs> if i want to do it for free it's going to take my entire life but no star trek online's a fun game and I've kind of been rambling on a little bit about some other stuff tonight, but there's not too much here that I really need to get too specific on. A lot of this stuff is uh, pretty uh, straightforward. If for whatever reason, while I'm working on this, you get stuck, drop a comment below. I'll try to see what I can do to help you out. Either it's on Twitch or on YouTube. I'm usually pretty active in the comment section. And um, I'll try to see what I can do to help. But more more often than not, more most people uh, lately really haven't been having any problems. I've tried to do a little bit better job of explaining things and then also building things in um, a more clear way. So we went through a pattern on the lower side. We're building out the deflector dish right now. We're going to go along basically the lip right here. So see those last two blocks, I can't use those, so I'm going to literally just copy the bottom row because they need to reflect each other because I'm going to try to transition them down row to row until they meet because I'm wondering if I do it in that pattern, if it'll match up in a way that, you know, it looks like a nice deflector dish, or at least that that's what I was thinking when I was working on it at this point. So now we're going to transition up. I'm cutting one, I'm going one back, and I'm just going to go with the cut line again. And I'm also doing the same thing for the top. All right, perfect. We got that side done. Then we're going to get this left bottom side done you want to make sure that you're deleting your access as you're going we don't need these extra blocks um, for this part of the builds I mean you're never really gonna see them um, unless you come into the ship from right here and what if you want this area to be a focal point you know so you want to make sure that you know your your build is nice and clean um, so you, you won't normally see me have too many lingering blocks if I don't need them I'll get rid of them because um, it can totally help uh, when you have too many uh, random blocks sitting on your build, it can really help um, take it out of the out of the element of what you're trying to sell. And then I'm going to cut in on that last one. Want to make sure to do the same thing on this side because both the left side and the right side need to match perfectly. It's one of the things I miss about having on Starship Evo, they've spoiled me, is that they have uh, the symmetry tool, so I could technically only have to build half the ships. I got my builds in, done in record time on Starship Evo because of it. Now, see, this looks great, but the only problem is uh, the left and right side, this hole right here, that's not working. So I'm basically going to have to pick a, a block here and just bring it straight over to fill in this area here, because this whole piece right here needs to be the deflector dish. But this right here, the way it's like transitioning, the uh, way it's going with the cut at an angle, it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to take a couple of rows off here in a moment. Right now, I'm just going to add in the back side. You can see I'm going back one, so there's a lip in between. And again, going with a cut and deleting the access because we don't need it. At this point, I'm confident enough that I know that I want to keep the middle part of this. It's just the sides that we need to, to blend in a little bit better with the rest of the ship. if these sides change right here and I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to keep that pattern going all the way back you yeah, see in the in like the very front this looks great but the sides here we got to fix this it's uh you can see I'm thinking that you know I need to do that at this point but I'm still I'm too far back I need to bring that this line up a couple of blocks I think because 
it's just um, it's not where it needs to be. Long story short. But, I mean, this is going to happen sometimes when you're working on your builds, especially a custom build. It's going to be a trial and error process. And uh, this is just one of those times we've got to throw down a couple of different patterns until we come up with something that uh, we're happy enough with. See, from a distance, it looks great. But when you start coming in, those sides, they stick out like sore thumbs. I, I hate how it looks on the side. It really looks like crap. I'm going to take off this road, too. I know that that's going. So I'm going to do the same thing on the left side now. Basically taking off three rows. And then this last one. I'm thinking that I'm going to take off another row. You see, I'm just doing this little by little, and that's the best way to do it. Take off a piece, zoom out, take a look at it, see if this is going in the direction that you want it to go in. If it doesn't look good, we could always make a change to it. If you do something and that you're worried about losing your progress, but you still want to experiment with it, back out of Minecraft, make a copy of your save, and then go into that copy and then make a change. If you don't like it, you could always revert back to the old save. And so I'm going to have to take off another row. Because the problem that I'm having is that the basically the deflector just starts to turn in the pattern. I need to keep it all going one way, if that makes sense. I'm just going to add in a couple more blocks right here, just so I can start to visualize it. Yeah, see, that looks so much better. That's definitely the way to go. About two minutes left in this build. Man, we shot by 39 minutes. Did not feel like that. Got a lot done today. So now I'm going to go in again. Following the cut line. And I think that could work. We might have to blend it in along the corners here. But at this point, I'm just looking at the deflector dish itself. And that's more or less what I want. It looks good enough that I'm just going to fill in the back side. And I'm just going to go in one so this way we can continue the lift pattern. I'm just going to go down at an angle with the half slabs again. The same thing for the bottom here. That doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> we might come back to those sides. We're not done with the deflector dish yet. Still have a little bit more work to do on it. But we've made a ton of progress on this build for epi uh, just being in uh, 13 episodes. Um, we weren't nearly this far on the Disco Era Enterprise. But I do think that's uh, probably going to wrap us up today. We don't really have anything else to do. I'm just going to be whizzing around the ship here.
yeah, at this point, I'm just looking at the cut line, trying to figure out if I'm going to change anything. But I think at this point, at least for this capture, I'm not making any other changes. I'm pretty happy with the progress that we made. It's not perfect yet, but that is a great template to start with. It's almost spot on with the deflector dish and what it needs to be. We just need to add in some detailing or maybe we're going to have to move up the top of the lip here just by one so we can actually build the brown piece that goes here in the middle. Because that's definitely something that we need to have because those TNG airships, a lot of them have it. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Um, I just want to thank you again for tuning into today's video and if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this content. I can't thank you enough for that. If you're following me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash zero elite, you can always catch my new Twitch streams Sundays through Thursday nights, typically between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern. And uh, don't forget to follow me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash zero elite, where you can always catch my new Starship Evo builds on Mondays and my new minecraft videos tuesdays through thursday or excuse me tuesdays through fridays releasing at 10 a.m eastern if you have any questions regarding this build or if there's any ships you want to see me build be sure to drop a comment below that's going to wrap it up for me just want to thank you again for tuning in to today's video hope everybody has a happy and safe week and i'll catch you on the next episode